There we go. I think I'm posted everywhere. How are we doing today, Internet? I'm doing all right. I did manage to do a little bit of research yesterday. Believe it or not. <laughs> Just got myself a little more familiarized with React and what I could do with it. I'm no expert, of course, but hopefully I can at least start recreating some semblance of what I've already got, and uh, which isn't much, and move forward from there. With that being said, Ah. How is everyone? So I just made a quick change so that we're not stepping on ourselves. Right now the bot is running. It's running in dev mode. Put the shell open where I'm going to be running the client portion of it. And, uh, I wanted to make sure that it ignores that folder so that we're not restarting the bot every single time. We're also restarting the client. Hey, look, an Unown. What do you think? Did we catch him? Actually, I really want to catch that one. No such luck. Womp womp. I just need one more Gen 2, uh, Gen 1 or Gen 2, and I get a task completed. Woo! I would definitely like to make something interesting like that out of this bot. Uh, what was it? Usual casual NPC. Bring their info up. If I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to promote them. Oh, practical NPC. Uh, their bot is actually really cool. They have kind of an RPG game going on that runs in the background. He's been working on this game apparently for quite a while. Uh, reaching out to developers, things along those lines. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, he's uh, been entertaining to watch. Highly recommend it if you're looking for some time killing. Well, and if Jern isn't doing his partner push, right? <laughs> or if the uh, game dev field guide isn't running or any number of other things that you may already be into. Anyway, all right, let's get into this. So we've got all of this additional stuff in here that we don't really need. I think if I just do npm start here, it's gonna tell me All right, let's see. How do I get this guy started? React script start. My fish tank's been being really loud. Gotta figure that out. Joy, one more thing to fix. Do I need to do this guy? I mean, that seems kind of silly to have to do. I'm actually curious, is it? No, you're probably not even hearing my fish tank. That's fun. Nope. I cannot find module scripts. Do I need to go into source? Um, 
quiet node modules bin. Oops. Dot bin. I see React scripts. What are you talking about? Quiet node modules bin React scripts. Trying to do. Oh, do I need to actually say, uh, what did I call this silly thing? Uh, no. Well, on the plus side, I don't think there's much in here. <laughs> so I can delete it and just build a new one, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, it says NPM start should do it. Why am I getting that issue? Cannot find, let's see. I've probably done something silly in my copying over. Scripts folder with scripts from the project. That scripts folder should have been added to the source control. Oh, that might be it. That would make sense. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, create. What do you mean that's not found? I just used it today. It's going to just recreate it, actually. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen. Now yeah, what are you going to do? Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I didn't need to use sudo for that. So if I do this and I just say like that, is it going to override itself? Contains files. Can I force? No. All right. Uh, 
let's just yeah One of those days, isn't it? And we're going to say client. All right. And then I just have to add dot back to my get ignore, and it should be fine. Right? When all else fails, start over. It's so much better. And do it on the main branch like you're supposed to. I'll change branches. Uh, check out. That's kind of a dumb branch name, but whatever. It'll work. It's somewhat descriptive, I guess. Uh, I'm going to use nano inside of here. <laughs> uh, that's, so, that's madness. All right. Logs. Where do I have? Cause I have an archive in here. thought I had an archive. Oh, no, I haven't done that with this one. So we're going to say... Anything named archive. And... Anything named back. There we go.
Uh oh, I hope it didn't. Oh no, okay. I was hoping it didn't mess with my power settings somehow. All right. Let's try and get all of my miscellany up and running. Almost there. Just needed a quick heavy turn it off and on again. Almost there. We want that and we want mute. Okay. And we're back. And luckily, I'm working off a laptop, not the desktop. <laughs> so, winning. Uh, and I only missed one Pokemon. Oot. Did I get any new loyalty points? Nope, still 17. Only 17 loyal to me. Alright. So, we were adding... Dot back to this. We oh, we got to make sure if Gitti is back up yet. Do that real quick. Looks like no. All right, let's check. Open lens and see how the cluster's doing. It's considering it. On the plus side, it says everything's ready, but it still has 640 days or whatever. I don't even know if 642 days is accurate regardless. So I think, well, it says it's running. Says metrics aren't available. All right, so what does it say that it, it's on dev many one? Oh, well, that's an issue. saying nothing. I guess that means we start at the beginning. Impromptu fixing. I 
Let's see what we got. Oh, actually. Yeah, that's not useful. Okay. Anywho, let's look at the servers. DNS server. It's running. Check the config, make sure nothing got corrupted. Nope, okay. I was thinking about it longer now. Oh no wait, that's NS lookup that needs that. <laughs> Cannot find. Can't find dev many one. Well we know that's not true. Let's just run down the line. Can't find that, can't find that. Okay. Can't get there by IP. Yes. Okay, so our problem is definitely DNS related. Just restart this zone just for the sake of argument. Is the issue because of... Okay. So what that means is that this is not actually getting its full, it's not getting its search domains. And that could be my fault. Switch that back. Gilgar. Didn't catch it. Womp womp. Well, that's different. Let's see. Make sure that, uh, oh no, it's not here. Yeah, oh, there's your problem. All right, one second.
Now we're just waiting for that guy to start up and we should be good to go. Okay. One thing I don't quite have yet is multiple NTP servers. Right now I'm just running it all off of my file server, which is less than ideal. But it's the file server is also my gate or my uh, not gateway, my database server. It's database file and uh, well storage for the cluster as well as NTP. I don't like having that many roles on a single box but I also didn't want to shell out for another Raspberry Pi <laughs> or another two Raspberry Pis. I mean they're cheap on their own, but then you start adding everything else in, like, oh, you need a case, you need the Raspberry Pi USB power supply that supplies the right amount of uh, power just so that you don't have to worry about the lightning bolts or, you know, so on and so on and so on. I should really try and just make it so that if it's one of the primary servers, then it has the ability to be NTP and it's in the NTP. And, but that's not where I am right now. That's not my lifestyle right now, as it were. All right, one more refresh before I go digging. sure Postgres started. Step one. Cool. Uh, what do we got here? Can't open PID. So I thought it was running. It just didn't realize it wasn't running. That's always the best. Come on. Oh, of course, right as I do it. There we go. I should start kicking everything back into gear, I hope. Let's go to the nodes. You don't have any reason to have disk pressure. another thing to check. Okay, nope. And those are all running. Maybe I can... Oh, there we go. We're starting to get data. Alright, we're starting to actually get data now.
Nope, volume setup failed. Hopefully that means it's restarting. Yeah, because it's saying that there's zero out of one, so it should be restarting any second now. I can just force it. Oh, that's useful. Now there's zero two. <laughs> that's kind of funny though that it. I mean, I I get why. As far as it's concerned, it thinks that it's running. It just doesn't realize what's happened. And this is both the uh, the pro and con of having a Raspberry Pi as the primary controller. Realistically, it should be on a battery. It's a Raspberry Pi. It's not going to take that much energy. And the other ones can go down and it doesn't matter. It's it, The important bit is being saved, right? Tainted as no schedule right now. Man, power outages. Forty five minutes in. I was getting on a roll. About to call myself butter. tainted but you're still not doing what you're supposed to be doing okay We've got containers running not like I started up randomly having swapped for some reason. All we need is to get one of these running. Then we can move along. Now it's over on a different one. I don't know why this one is saying disk pressure. It definitely doesn't. Why are you... Oh, did I forget to relock it? Oops. The only reason this one would be having disk pressure is... Oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. It just realized, <laughs> like, I'm looking at the number. It's right here. All right, everything's saying ready. Are you going to do the thing? Maybe. Why does everything say green? At least the one finally terminated, which means now it's going to start this one, and then as that one's starting, it's going to go to the other one. Configure app init. 
It's chugging a life. And now I'm starting to get texts about people saying, oh, my, our Wi-Fi is down. One more second.
about that was fun. Yeah, it seems like uh, someone hit a power pole or something, because now Comcast is out. Yay! But this still isn't coming up, so what the heck's going on? go to you if I send another reset it's gonna go to three or not well it, or it will one or the other let's look at our storage seen it since wondering if I'm gonna have to restart the cluster so let's see it's on it's trying on all three so let's do we're gonna start with three we're gonna drain you gets evicted and then we'll reboot it properly sometimes you just have to go back and do it the right way unfortunately getting keep alives so right now I'm gonna guess okay it did not recover I can't even add a bug because I'm waiting for Gatia to restart dang it hey what do you know Wait. just a cotton picking minute So let's go back to the nodes and let's uncordon you. I wonder if anything else is having that problem. Let's check Redmine running. It's of course going to be the one that I screwed with. Why wouldn't it be? All right, let's put you away. We'll let this. We'll just let this do what it do. I understand why it didn't recover. Um, I don't do anything to check the health of the connection. <laughs> I don't do anything with the keep alive. And I should if that keep alive doesn't come through. In this case, I think it's like every 10 seconds. Um, 
it should reopen that socket. It's validating the token. So it's not like that's uh, an impossible task. I can just, same time after it validates a token, just say, hey, it's still alive. Um, so let's create that task real quick. Adding. I'm glad I'm descriptive. While wow, that's going, we're going to do a new issue. Um, this is definitely a bug. What are we going to say? Uh, no WebSocket connection validation. Um, I mean, how many of these should we be able to miss? Or is that something we even need to think about right now? I don't think so. So we're just going to say, uh, when keep alive stops, doesn't try to reconnect. Uh, but does continue validating keys. All right, one more. Be right back. What a weird day, huh? Alright, I swear I need a need a light that just is keeping track of Comcast status. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, so we can leave that. That's cool. Let's go back to the code. Actually let's go to here. to do could not read from remote repository make sure you have the correct access and repository rights oh no that should be right updated anything in there in a while key exchange identification read connection reset by peer all right so we have we do still have an issue and that would be the ingress 
this guy. Probably means it's pointing to one of these. Well, it's just not going to give this up, is it? We're going to have to trick it into thinking it's terminated. That's fun. Oh, yeah, drowsy. Did we get the drowsy? Shoop. I know, you care so much. No drowsy. Worst luck ever. Alright, so... Well, I'm not super worried about... Well, I know I am worried about... Am I? It's just the test data. I mean, this one shouldn't be restarting. Deployments... Like, it's not realizing that one... Oh, there we go. Now it is. Can I just do that? I don't think so because it's not going to like it because that one's still trying to run. And I really don't want to force thieves dead. Because you can go in and just force an update. I think it's the status field. starting to go okay maybe we don't touch anything just let time happen and we'll move on with our life for a little bit because I think it's going to be a matter of yeah these are both on three I think that one was on two so it's just going to be a matter of if each one of these not if when each one of these catches back up. Because they're in process. And I never built a swap here, so that's not going to be the issue. whole lot actually going on. Right now I have the firewall on. I wonder if I can do this to kind of push it along.
All right, no, nope, we'll just leave it. Let it do what it's gonna do. Although with that one having been terminated, Check the old logs. Just make sure it's not. Air sinking pods, yeah, we know. somewhere else. I mean, that's kind of funny. <laughs> F U U F W. Okay. Or is it IP tables that's showing up? Just go this way. See it all. Well, it's not really all. And I probably should have... Oh no, I am doing pseudo. No, but that's not going to let me go backwards. I detected... Oh, there we go. Alright, it killed them. Now it's doing what it should be doing. this away Shoop. I don't think we need either of those let's see if this text was somehow related nope weird pirate software is live right now why is pirate software live Let's do a quick check. Let's 
Oh, he's playing WoW. That's right. There was an announcement about that. <laughs> uh, that's so funny that one dude who just decides, hey, I'm going to play video games today. <laughs> and suddenly I'm like, that's weird. What's going on? Man has a schedule. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Which means I'm on Twitch the same time he is. That's bad news for me. Oh, well. It's bad news for anybody who wants viewers. I don't know. I think he pulls a lot of his viewers from YouTube. All right, what was I, where was I, what were we doing before we were so rudely interrupted an hour ago, an hour and 15 minutes ago, as a matter of fact. Got to do one more quick check on Comcast, sorry. working not from Comcast, but from the instrumentation I have in my family's house. Anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch. More reels this time. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Now, where were we? <laughs> We were creating a client, I believe. All right, so step first, we have, we have to have it running. So uh, we do, we need to kill the bot because it needs to reconnect. We have bot, cool. Then I need to go back to this one. And this one starts on another port, yes. And it's going to be 3001. Yay, okay. It's running. We're happy, I think. I feel like, what the? That's, that's it today. <laughs> that is today, today. If you want to start measuring performance, pass this function to log results. Can I pass that to Pino? Report. 
Web Battles Pino. Pino? Pino. What is this? Uh, blah blah blah. Is it replacing? No. Alright, I'm not going to worry about it right now. That's more than I want to deal with. We want to get something working. Alright. So, all of this. A tyrant. I think that's Gen 3. Hey, we caught him. But, yeah. Wrong generation. Of course we caught it. And, of course, it's garbage. Can I sell it? 114? Not even worth the effort. Do need to buy some more Pokeballs, so let's get that out of the way. Done and done. All right. Onward. Okay, so what's happening here is it's importing app over here, and it's just rendering app. So it's just rendering this. This is just a link. Now, oh, okay, it's pulling it from logo SVG, which is this. Okay, okay. So, what we need in here first, we want to recreate chat. Now, one of the things that I'm not sure about just yet is how do I, how do I get data into React? Like, I understand I can use variables, I can, you know, anything uh, that's not dynamic. Okay, that makes sense, no problem. I think what I'm looking at is hooks. Doesn't make sense that it's hooks. Let's do a quick look into React and WebSockets. I think that actually may be the amount that I, or that may be the amount of work that I put in the backup. Actually, let's look. Because I think I had just started on WebSockets. So in back source app. Yeah. So I've got it all stashed in app. Let's see if I can just copy pasta this in there. Oops, it can there can be only one. All right, nope, we still have an issue. Can't resolve socket. Resolve import socket from socket. Okay, so wait, didn't I just have something open for that? No, here we go. I probably just need to install something. Understand how they work.
There's none needed, but you might benefit from one. Okay, so I'm overthinking, or I was overthinking in here, looks like. Which is fine. So if I instead do boom boom. And I just need to find like Well, let's see. Is this <laughs> Ah, don't you love it? Okay. So in theory, I do this, bada bing. And I say this. But instead of that, it's this. Can't find components connection state. Yeah, I was definitely trying to use the library. How do I not remember what I did here? <laughs> connection state is not defined. All right, let's just look at this. This seems like I had something working. Let me see what... This is using React Use. Did I make a custom? I did make a custom component. And then it's connection state. And then connection manager. Where was I getting socket? Oh, socket. Oh, I was using socket IO, which is what I've already using in the other one. basically says that my environment equals production, or if it's undefined, then it goes here. come back to that, but that's okay. Um, let me... I'm just going to grab all of this and put it over here. Because it does look like I was well on my way. And I wonder if I should just put that in there as well. And then go back here... back and you back and you back well, I don't need you because I'm not using you that's fine socket has already been declared that's because of this so that can go away can't I spell components wrong? Oh, whoops. That would be a problem.
React hook use effect has a missing dependency. New message. Either include it or remove the dependency array. The heck are you talking about? New message equals use state. This is in yeah, this is in app.js, and that's that is there. That's probably because it's not installed. Maybe I don't need to deal with all of this. Just jump back and forth on everybody, right? Let's just look up a socket IO example, which I'm sure this is just based off of. Let's do socket IO. React. Yep, this looks quite a bit like it, doesn't it? This looks exactly like it. All right, so let's let's put the socket back here. Yep. I did say yes, right? No, no, I didn't. got that makes sense we're pulling it from the server that we've got running in that case you'll need to call socket connect to make sure that it connects okay keep that in mind during development you need to enable cores on the server which I should, I believe, I've already done. The event listeners are then registered in the app components, which stores the state and pass it to the child via props. Alright, so they've got React, Connection State, Connection Manager. And they have events. I think events is one of the things. Function app. So this is saying for these events and for these events. Connect. All right, what does their what's the events look like? Connection state events. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's do it and then we can screw with it afterwards, right? Which I look it looks like I already did, so we will just follow the settings um, so they have two events set for events events 
and set pool events. All right, and then we have on connect true, on disconnect false, and they have on foo events. So we'll do the same thing on foo event, and we'll just say event. We'll copy pasta this. A shuckle. Boom. Did that do it? Did it put us over? Oh, it was 10 out of 15. Oh, yep, that did it. Yay. Now, do I open the present here? And the problem is that it gets it goes to other people, and there's no other people here. So let me go do that real quick. Uh, boom, boom, boom. present it says I don't have a present but I have a present all right or at least I should have a present I see a rare present oh I need Pokey gift rare. All right, one more try. I couldn't give myself something. Oof, that channel's getting bot bombed. Done. <laughs> All right, back at the ranch. Okay, so we have on foo event event. And what they have happening is set for events. Okay, so this just adds foo events here. So I'll have to use, I think it's probably using a map to do that. Let's see. We'll just follow. This is adding everything before, or taking everything that's before, and adding the new one. I could have just changed the other one to event, but whatever. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've got the socket on connect, disconnect, and then foo, foo event, which is what I was doing with on new message and then we return these where are we still looking for app or where are we still looking for new message Full events is assigned a value but never read. Oh, it's probably here. Yeah. Let's do that there. And 
and it wants it even still has the space from where I deleted it <laughs> connection manager is not defined but yes it is my form is not defined that is true connection state event connection manager we'll throw the form in there we'll just follow it to a t i hate doing it but Pasta, and it exports everything. So back here, can't resolve, resolve socket IO dot client, and that that tracks. do this all right everything looks fine and here's kind of what's currently failing <laughs> says my state is false let's go to the console oh I didn't do it fine fine which means I've probably got yeah whatever my United States up whatever Oh, there we go. Oh, you're over here now. Connected. Well, that's not going to do anything because this doesn't have any way to do anything with that. So now I need it to be new messages because this emits new message. So let's jump back into this. Actually, no, not that. We'll get a jump into this. So we've got the events. Use effect function on foo events. Set foo events previous previous value. Okay. And this is taking events and sending it through foo events. This shouldn't matter. Anything that comes through should be being added. Let's look at events.
All right, let's go back over here and see if I'm reading this properly. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you just need to get added to that. <laughs> Listeners registered in the setup function must be removed in the cleanup callback in order to prevent duplicate event registries. This will remove all listeners for the foo event. just work, right? But it doesn't. Oh no, that's socket off. That's socket on. We need a new message. Oops. And we dice again. Ah! <laughs> Objects are not valid as a React child. Found object with keys. Okay, good. It's coming across. Nice. If you meant to render a collection of children, use an array instead. So it seems to me like I just need to make that array. Right now it's sending an object, so a socket on message. Then it does an on foo event, which is here, which is value, and then it does set. So I just need to change value out. So if I just do data and then I say uh, I'm trying to think of the right way I just read all this so it should be fresh in my mind right the other way around. I need to convert an object to an array.
on the wrong way. I need let value equal data dot keys. No, no, object dot keys. Yes, I'm looking at something else, all right. <laughs> this is data dot map. see what that looks like I do need to use things like map more often because they're just smart and I'm I'm junior oh yeah that's not gonna get emitted actually this shouldn't get emitted. But I guess it does. If you meant to render a collection of children, use an array instead. I thought I did. This no makes sense to me. I'm sure it makes sense. <laughs> and object with keys, but I shouldn't have an object anymore. Or is it just too late? Let's try objects are not valid as react children. Unintentionally including an object in my JSX. So I think that means that realistically I can get it over here. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's put you back. Because it's fine, it's just passing that along. So I go to... events yeah this is where it has an issue can I do this and maybe catch it before the error Oh, it's 
gonna send no matter what. Okay. So on the plus side, the answer is kind of yes. Oh, hey, I caught the mine. It's still going to error, but it, it will send it. Two, three. Why is it sending it four times? That's fine. So it sends it, and it's an object here. So if I accept it as an object, or accept that it's going to be an object, and then do the thing that I was just looking at. Which says... In this case, data, not there, I need, but that's just going to give me the keys. is this is going to fail again. But what do I know? Oh, it already failed. Okay. Cannot convert undefined or null to object. Okay, that's fine. Just have to say... null. I want to just return this but empty. Well, maybe I do want to return null. Let's see. Alright, we didn't get an error this time. For the sake of argument, let me do that, and then otherwise, uh, we will do that. Oops. All right, so it's it's returning undefined. I don't know why there's four events already. That's odd. Okay, but it's still coming as undefined. All right, that's not going to work. Let's see how this works. Whoa. Oh, yeah, so the problem, though, is that... I guess I'd just say... If... Data... Not equal, no. Uh, 
else. I uh, probably shouldn't have it as a constant. Or I just do this up at the top no matter what. And we get rid of the else. That way it's guaranteed it's going to be there. Although I can't do that. I need to do that. And then do that. All right. Let's see what we get. Reload. All right. I just get a prototype of an array four times. And then I get a new array that's just an empty prototype. Okay, this is going to take me back to the other time where can't convert undefined. Does it change when I do this? No, because it's already crashed. Let's see how my mine is. Did I get anything else with the mine? Was the last of my water. One second.
And we're back. All right. Cannot convert undefined or null to object. Isn't there an is defined? I think there's an is defined. Oh, hey, I caught a bacon. Hundred percent good. Yes, I know squirrel. Like this is the worst for my squirrel. <laughs> Wow, actually it isn't bad. Oh. Well, I mean it's not perfect or anything, but dun, dun, dun. Don't get anything cool. Does JavaScript Yeah. So if I do this this way instead, and I say, uh, if data equals undefined, I don't want to return null. I want to return not breaking but now it's not sending anything and it definitely should be let's do this why is it calling that four times though I am not a fan of that could also have been written like this. Use effect, blah, blah, blah.
no, not that. So I'm getting the data over, but it's not liking. First of all, it's not liking how it's coming over. And I think it getting called four times. Is there a socket I.O. for all events? Like, I don't I don't want to care what the event is. Inside the socket uses the event emitter provided by component emitter library, which exposes. Okay. So I do have a socket on any. So if I go instead. Instead of even dealing with all of this, so in, no, I'm not in my form, I need this one. everything I did here. go back here and instead of socket dot on in theory that's going to work right still blown up. Well, it's not wrong. I 
But in theory, this should, should be blowing up no matter what. Because there should be more than just... Oh, it's creating them. Okay. So it's saying, okay, there's a new message. And it sees two of them. We're getting there. We're going places. That's a problem, though. It's still showing four. All right. But we've started. So what I need to do is just rewrite the entire uh, events.js because it will take it I'm not understanding why why are you taking it over here let's just Are you sending over? It is definitely sending four. And it just says new message, new message, new message. Okay. Magby. Check here. That's funny. So they reserve some things for their channel specifically. I wonder if I'll actually get to level two in my own channel. What am I looking for? Here. Huzzah! Loading, loading, loading. We did not catch it. Womp womp. Okay, so we got messages coming through, they're just empty. Well, they're not empty. They're just being added as a single item. Which kind of makes sense. Okay, so that's happening here, right? It's doing this guy. So it's not so much here, it's doing this. So I needed my fancy... Uh, thingamabopper to be here. So we're going to do here data. And then I'm going to say it's not going to work as JSON though. We already know that. So I just have to do the uh, what was it? It was uh, Object dot keys.
does that do the job? I don't think that does the job, but... Alright, there's nothing in there. That's not new message. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, That's that's pretty funny, you gotta admit. But it's not what we're after. Like zero. Nope, oh, we're getting there. Okay, so it's creating it. Um Nope, not the prototype we want, this guy. It's not creating the message. So it needs to become a multi. Let's see. Let's do it that way. Let's see what we get. How's my top command holding up? Dice, help, and top. All right, so... Yeah, I should have reloaded this. I think that's it. Oh yeah, that is it, right there. Okay, so it's got fragments and then text. So I need message.text to get added to this. Really, I can filter this out because all I really need is the badges. Do I? Well, I want the badges. <laughs> Got the ID, badges, and message. I don't know if badges. That's zombie process. Let me check mine. Okay, so badges comes in as an array. That's fine. I just need to turn messages also into an array. helps me think deal with it wanted to make more sense.
All right, so right now it's sending an object. That object is this. So the first thing it does is it makes, I just need to add everything under messages. I need to do the same thing. Wait, I'm already logging that. Aren't I? So what I have to do is I have to say I have to do excuse me the same thing here cassette foo events where is set foo events Function on new message, socket dot on return. Okay, so this is where it calls the other one. That's where this gets called. So I just need to do the next step of this. And that's where, just, sorry, bear with me here, guys and gals. I just do the same thing. I just, instead of having message, I just need to keep adding to it. I just need to break up message. And message has fragments and text. Fragments will be important. Not aren't they aren't yet, but they will be, so I gotta make sure I have those. So I, I guess I just do kind of the same thing here. I say uh, equals object dot keys. But this is data dot message, right? Yeah. And this will be dot map. Basically the same way. another one for chat value which is going to equal but it's not chat this is message dot fragments right message fragments oh and then 
Oh, for no fragments is an array. So I can just add message fragments. So that command is pop. Pop takes it off at the end. Push pushes it into the beginning. Push adds a new. Okay. So I just say value dot push text value. Oops. And then value dot push. Oops. This is going to be data dot message dot fragments, which actually I can probably just uh, get you out of there, save myself a variable. Why doesn't that work? There we go. Reload. All right, let's see what it was fine. We will catch. Boom. Okay. Nope. Didn't like that. Type, text, cheer mote, emote, mention. Okay. So. Do I have to do this? Nope, still doesn't like that. I still need to do it. I just need to do this same thing, I guess. And just go one more level down. So in this case, it's data dot message dot fragment fragment fragments. And I think it was zero. It should still be here. There we go. Uh, data dot message dot fragments with its plural. Yeah, oh, it's an array of objects. Great. Data dot message dot fragments. Another one. Okay. Cannot read properties of undefined zero.
straight hit, don't miss it. So key for the moment. I mean, obviously it doesn't like that. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's see what happens. I think I'm just gonna get another array of objects. Yep. Cannot convert undefined or no. Well, that's different. So fragments is an array. But I need number, I need zero of fragments. I had it. I think I had it. I think I was fine with it this way. I just didn't have a T in there. Huzzah! Okay, we don't have an error. We do have our array. And it has our text. And it has Fragments is still an object. Or was it just an object there because... Yeah, because here I have the nulls. Oh, I think it... Yeah, that's just going to happen. So I think I need to name, I need a key for that array. Because otherwise that's going to get interesting. And here is actually me. Oh, that's the, that's the object. And then here's the bot talking back. I need to, I think I need to do an if, basically saying that if that key is messages, get rid of it. message then do that I think I'm supposed to use the ternary for this have to do this oh no that's not gonna work that means can I do this I 
then I can do this. Alright, so we're going to say instead, let's do that. I don't need to get rid of this now. And this too. So we have key, question mark, message. The first is if true, then we have if false. Let's see how that looks. I think I've got that right. One way to find out, right? And that way is not checking Pokemon. What? Isn't the answer always checking Pokemon? So now our array is eight items. Message, message, message. <laughs> okay. Does that mean I have that backwards? Or... there like a do nothing for ternary let's see uh, I'm just gonna run this real quick <laughs> just so I can see what's going on so if I get rid of this and I run it unexpected token Get fee is member, so get fee true. Do I do that? Do I just need here? see what's going on return is member so 
So I'm doing this. That ought to be the ticket, don't you think? Reload. Let's look at the array. Well, I mean, it throws a null in there. <laughs> we don't really want that either. I want it to just not add it. showed up. A Caterpie? I want me a Caterpie. I bet I didn't get it. I don't like using the specials. Yep. No love. No time for love, Dr. Jones. to return like that doesn't seem like the right answer well, apparently it's not the right answer what's interesting is that I'm specifically creating a key and a data key Seems as though, no, I can't use the ternary. I need to go this way. But it doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like the if? So key equals message. I need key not equals message. Then do that. Search for keywords to learn more.
can understand why that is. No Caterpie. Then do that. Expects a return from the arrow function. It's getting one in both cases. I guess that's why it's an, a warning. Reload. find is still sneaking in there and that's what I don't want I, mean, I guess I could just make it and then pop that back out before I move on to adding more I probably should have just done that let's go all the way back to the ranch All of our ifs and our ternaries and our all of our history here. zero okay so right now we're creating the message so now we need to pop off pop takes the very last one right just got to make sure because I don't care if it's returned but it's going to be zero minus one and then we put messages in lurking on Jern stream and apparently it just stayed open I hope that doesn't cause him a problem all right what was I doing oh yeah I was making sure
we've still got a message. Why do we still have a message? Just we'll do what I was originally thinking. Oops, reload. I bring this over here. Oh, the array is seven now. Cool. All right. Uh, badges still gets added. Oh, that's the zombie process. That's me. That's the bot, I mean. Wait. Why are both of them zombie process? One of them should be me. It's not sending it because it's a command. I'm going to do that one. Wait, why is it creating two arrays though? Oh, because it's just adding to it. And if I do test again, it's going to be three. Oh, that can't be the right way to do that. Well, I guess then I just do the same thing where I pop off the last one. Oh, I don't pop. In this case, I'd be slicing the first one. Cool. Then I have there, I'm still not getting the fragment. So yeah, it's fragments, object, object, text, and then type text, the actual text, and then I have all the things in it. All right, so I'm still not getting the object. I'm gonna stick around until I can at least break this up and then maybe I'll call it a day. All right, so I've got that taken care of. This is still my problem. Let me see what this comes out as. Because I think there must be one more thing in here, right? Otherwise it wouldn't be coming out as an object. Getting text and fragments. Wait. So this one is messages. No, 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 no. it is working. Okay. I just need to do the same thing. I just need to pop one more time. Sometimes I just go, am I really smart? And the answer is usually, nah. All right, let's see what we got now. Wait, what? 
Okay, so I have the array. Here's the array. It's got this last thing, which is messages. But now badges is an object. Okay. It did not do what I wanted it to do. Thirty seconds, new Pokemon. I found out. <laughs> Wait, what did I get? Cherish level nest. Why did I get a bunch of friend balls? No, oh, it doesn't help you if I'm doing it off screen. All right. Just do this for the sake of argument. I want to copy you. Because I'm pretty sure that's only going to add the message. But it looks like it's overriding the last object, which is not ideal. is coming through now as an object. Because it is an object. I swear that wasn't an object just like five minutes ago. So we have to do another one. So, this gets everything and it adds message. And it's badges is in the first run. Or I have to do badges first. Well, it doesn't really matter where I do badges, right? I'm s because I'll be setting badges with its own. I mean, right now, I don't have that, but... Like here, 
this is going to be Wait, I can't, so I can't push a key. Uh, let's see. Is the problem that it doesn't have an initial key? Oh yeah, that's going to be the problem because it's multi-dimensional, so it's not going to have an additional key. This really seems like a stupid way of doing this. There's got to be a better way of doing this. That might be what I'm going to be researching tonight. Because I definitely want all of this data. But do I need to send... I don't need to send all of the data through, right? So if I instead... If I go back to the map and just say... Well, no, the map wouldn't do it. Well, the map should do it. But it's going to try and do it for everything. Let's see. Hey, where did my Twitch go? There it is. So I need to convert. The problem is once I convert everything, then why am I even bothering to filter it here? I've got everything. There's gotta be a way to just deal with objects. Like, this just seems dumb. Let's see here. Project all. I definitely understand what objects are. Yeah, see that's, so what's the issue? I mean, I can even make an array of objects. That's not a, that shouldn't be a problem. So it comes through. It's using set foo events, which is from the use state. coming from React. So 
so is the problem just use state? Or is the problem here just that it's trying to use a map? Objects are not valid as a React child. Now the question is, okay, so it gets logged, gets logged as an object. Is it at the map that it gets logged? So if I instead do events dot coming through why is it not getting am I doing this wrong I must be doing this wrong unexpected token comma that's not a comma, that's a period. see what's going on so the map here the map here is saying that it can't render them because it is it's trying to render the entire thing that gets sent to it okay <sighs>
think I'm going to call it here just because I'm kind of sick of reading on stream. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time bouncing back and forth. Maybe go get something real to eat. So yeah, I think this is where we're calling it. Let me uh, get this back to where we were. And I'll be revisiting this. Probably a little bit later tonight. I don't know if I'll be on stream. Hey, Corsola. Let's see, real quick. Did I catch it? I did not. Nor did I get anything fun. All right, guys. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for hanging out this long. Thanks for giving me the time. And uh, if you were lurking and just hanging out or jumped in and jumped out, thanks for the, the click. Thanks for swinging by. And uh, hopefully, hopefully next time I'm on tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's game day, so actually uh hop over to the youtube channel and i got a survey there for with a couple options of games to play if you have any strong feelings or just respond uh let me know all right that's fun